Well, this weekend, you have a chance to see the Louisville Zoo in a whole new light with the Wildlife Festival's return. Our Madeline Carter is live at the zoo this morning. Hey, Madeline, what kind of wildlife can we expect this year? Hey ladies, you can expect all sorts of wild lights. They have 50,000 LED lights scattered throughout the Louisville Zoo, and we are out here at one of them. We're gonna tell you all about it. We have Kyle Shepard here with the Louisville Zoo. Kyle, talk about the different zones. I understand you walk 1.4 miles throughout the zoo. What can you see at the Wild Lights Festival? Well, first of all, hundreds of, of lanterns and 50,000 light bulbs, as you were saying, uh, plus 50,000 plus, but they're all uh, categorized into zones. So each of the continents have some uh, representation in each of these lantern sections. Uh, we're in the Egypt section here, uh, down below by the snow leopard. And then there's an Asian, Asian section, there's a South American and North American, all that good stuff. And our theme this year is around the world. So you're gonna encounter some landmarks from around the world that you recognize, along with some animals and some flora and fauna from all of those different continents. Yeah, I love that. And as you mentioned, we're over in Egypt, we're looking at the Sphinx. This is just an incredible display. And there's a lot that goes into putting these displays in here at the zoo each year. And here to tell us about that, we have Annie with the company who comes in and installs these massive lanterns. Annie, I know that there's 50,000 LED lights throughout the festival, but how many do you think are just in this one display? For just this one, and there's uh, at least 1,000 uh, LED bulbs inside. How many did you say? At least 1,000 LED oh, bulbs inside. at least 1,000 just in this alone. Yes. Now, I understand this is a process. I mean, so we have these big displays. They've got silk and a metal frame, and these are these are painted. Is that right? Yes. So as you can see, this kind of brown color. So those are done with our painter. So we had, we had to use the air, air brusher on this one. Oh, so air brush. So how many different artisans come in to do something like this here? Um, this year we had uh, 20 artists working on all of the lanterns for, for, for this one, especially only this one. We spent uh, almost like one week, like seven days only working on this one and also uh, I mean, including the fabricating and uh, also the, uh, the painting. Because uh, this one took like almost all, all of them were like welders and electricians and also women for fabri fabricating. Wow, a whole team. You guys have been out here since January putting together this festival. It kicks off on March 10th. You guys have got to get your tickets because all I'm saying is if it looks this good during the day, just wait until you see it all lit up at night. I was just going to say, it looks incredible right now. And then <laughs> to take your kids at night or go with your friends. Yeah. I, w I mean, I don't, I don't need kids to go. You I'll don't. Go. You don't. It is a good time out there, whether awesome. you take small kids or not. It's just like going to the zoo in general. Like, and it's, it's just... It's a fun yeah. our zoo too. Support local, support the zoo, Matt. Uh, and you've been, I've been, yeah. good time for the kids.